Hello guys, this is one of the assignments I gave to my students uh, that borders on number basis. Okay, so we are going to work, do this. Uh, after we are done with this, the other assignments that I gave also on number basis should be easy because they, also, they almost follow a similar pattern. Okay, and after the end of this class, I'm also going to add an extra assignment to it so that what you use to test yourself and understand the topic better. Now, I've given 3 around 14 base 10 minus 256 base 7 is equals to 340 base x. Okay, so let's solve. Now, from this first left-hand side, from this left-hand side, we, as you can see, we cannot subtract 256 base 7 from 314 base 10. Okay, base 10 is a natural base, okay? So all numbers that you see without base, it means that what they're all in base 10. It's a natural base. Okay, this one is in base 7. So we need to convert this 256 base 7 to base 10 first before we can subtract it from what? 314 base 10. Also, this 340 base x, we cannot solve like this. The x also is also a base. So we need to convert this 340 base x to base 10 before we can proceed. Okay, but first of all, let's first convert 256 base 7 to base 10 okay so let's do that of course here i'm going to have zero one and what and two okay this will mean two times seven two times seven raised by what now two then plus five times seven raised by what one then plus six times seven raised to the power of what of zero okay so now let us simplify for that seven raised to the power two is the same thing as what seven times seven okay seven two times that is what seven raised to the power two okay so of course seven times seven is what 49 for your multiplication timetable all right that you did in primary school you see it is still very useful to now that is why any knowledge that you have learned prior to this time is always what's necessary you do not throw them away do not use them to swallow a bar or drink gary so let's go so I'm going to have 2 times 7 raised to the power 2 is what? It's 49. Then plus 5 times 7 raised to the power 1 is what? Same thing as 7. Anything raised to the power 1 is same, is still that same number. Okay? So 7 raised to the power 1 is what? It's 7. Then plus 6 times 7 raised to the power 0 is what? It's 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 gives you 1. All right? For a loss of indices. Okay? So that becomes very easy for us. So this will now be 6 times what? Not 0, 6 times 1. 6 times 1, okay? Now, let us simplify for that. 2 times 49 will give us 98. Then plus 5 times 7 will give us 35. Then plus 6 times 1 will give us 6. So we need to add all of this together. 98 plus 35 plus 6. If you know you cannot add them with your head, okay? Please, you can go to the corner of what? Of your, of your book and what? Simply do it. 98 plus what? 35 plus what now? Plus 6. Okay, 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus 6 is what is 19. So we're writing 9, we're carrying 1. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 1 is what is 13. So I'm going to have 139. Is it in base 7 now? No, it's now in base 10. So this is now base 10. Now, okay, uh, like you have always been advised, it's better, it's always better than what you write basis in what with letters. So just say base 10, okay? Base T E N, base S E V E N, okay? Because you can easily confuse this 139 base 10 to be what? 13910. You're not be looking for answer that is not looking for you. Okay. So these are common things you should avoid. If I write using numbers, you have to be extra careful. Now we have converted this to what to base 10. It means we can subtract 256 base 7, which is now 139 base 10 from 314 base what base 10. Okay, but let us leave that one on one side before we do the subtraction. Let us convert 340 base x to what base 10. Okay, so the same approach 340 base x. Okay, base to base 10. This will be 0, this will be 1, this will be a 2. Okay, so I'm going to have 3 times x raised to power 2, then plus what than 4 times x raised to power what 1. Then plus zero times x raised to the power zero. Okay, the same approach. Now three times x square is what is three x square 
then plus 4 times x raised to the power 1. x raised to the power 1 is what? It's tx. So I'm going to have what? 4x. Then plus 0 times x raised to the power 0. x raised to the power 0 is 1. But 0 times any number is what is 0. Then plus 0. Okay? So that means that on the right hand side, okay, on the left hand side, we have 314 base 10 minus 139 base 10 is equal to what now? 3x squared plus 4x. Okay? So let us write the straight equation. So I'm going to have what now? 314 base 10 minus 139 base 10, okay, is equals to 3x squared plus 4x. So let us go to the other side of the board and continue. Now, what is 314 base 10 minus 139 base 10? We can do that calculation. 314, 139. Okay, so subtract. You borrow 4 minus 9 is what is 0. So according to what you do normally, you borrow the, uh, 1 from what? From this 1. You borrow 1 from 1, from, from 1, you'll be left with 0. Then here will now be 14. 14 minus 9 is what? It's 5. Okay? Then 0 minus 3 still cannot. So you borrow 1 from here, you'll bring it 2. Then you'll run what will now be 10. 10 minus 3 is what? It's 7. 2 minus 1 is what? It's 1. That gives us 175. All right? So now we have gotten the value on the right hand side. So that will give us now 175 is equal to what now? 3x squared plus 4x. Hope you are following clearly. All right, so please give this video a like, share this video, share, make sure you are sharing, okay? Then now let us go ahead. What do you do next now? You, are, you rearrange. Obviously, as you can see here, this is already a quadratic equation. Why is it a quadratic equation? The reason why it's a quadratic equation is because the highest power of the unknown here is what is 2. Okay? So I think we're still going to do quadratic equations soon. All right, so now let us do that. So I'm going to have now 175. Okay, let's rearrange this. So let's rearrange it in the form of a quadratic equation. Let this 175 come to the what? To the to the uh, right hand side. So I'm going to have 3x squared, okay, plus what? 4x. 175 is positive here. This is plus 175. It is crossing to the other side. It will become what? Minus what? 175. And what will be left here will now be equal to what now? Zero. Here will now be what? Zero because it has crossed to this other side. All right? It's as simple as ABC. So we now have our what? Our quadratic what? Equation. All right? So now, usually, uh, what do we do? We, there, are, there are three methods. Basic method for solving quadratic equation. There's the factorization method. There's completing the square method. There's the formula method. Any method you use is what is okay. Okay? But for your jam, okay? If I were a student, you may choose to use completing the square method because you have more time. You need to show your workings. In fact, sometimes examiners for YEC will ask you to use completing the square method. Okay? But... For your jam, you do not need that. Okay, you just need to quickly what to use factorization or what to use what your the one you call almighty formula is called quadratic formula method. Okay, the quadratic formula method, not almighty formula method. So let's go. Let us use um, the factorization method to make it fast. We are going to use the the uh, quadratic formula. Quadratic formula said minus b plus or minus square root of what? Square root of b square minus four ac all over what? Over 2a. Okay? This is the quadratic formula what method. All right? So we are going to see how to use it shortly. Now let us use the factorization method. So what does the factorization method tell us? For you to be able to solve this, usually, you need to make the coefficient of x squared to be 1 for you to be able to easily solve factorization method. Okay? But because we don't have the luxury of time, we can what? We can solve even without doing that. Okay? So now, that means we need to look for two factors. We look for two factors so that when we multiply them together, we're going to have 3 times 175, okay? But usually, if here was 1, we'll have looked for two factors that so that when we multiply them, we're going to have only 175, all right? And when we add them, it's going to give us what? 4x, okay? So that's what we're supposed to do normally. If here was what? Was just what? Uh, if the coefficient of x squared here was 1. But the coefficient of x squared here is not 1. Okay, so what we need to do now to look for two factors so that when we multiply them together, when we multiply those two factors together, it will give us 3 times 175. And 3 times 175 is what? 525. Okay, so you can press the calculator if you are not too sure. All right, so look for two factors so that once we multiply those factors together, we're going to have 525. And once we add those two factors together, it's going to give us what 4x. Okay, and those of those factors are what 21 and 24. 
Okay, sorry, 21 and 25, rather. 21 and 25. All right, once you multiply 21 and 25, we are definitely going to have what 525. All right, but what we are looking for actually is so that when we multiply them together, we need to take note of what of the sign. All right, we need to take, take note of the sign. Once we multiply those two factors together, it must give us minus 525 because this is what plus three here. Here's what minus 175. Three times minus 175 is minus 525. So we're actually looking for two factors so that once we multiply those two factors together, it will give us minus 525. And when we add those two factors together, we're going to have plus 4x. The sign is very important. If you miss the sign, you will miss the answer. Okay? So we're looking for two factors so that when we multiply those two factors together, we're going to have what? Minus 525. And when we add them together, we're going to have what? Plus 4x. Now, our two factors are 21 and 25. Okay? That means it's going to be minus 21 and what? And plus 25. Because minus 21 plus 25 is what? Is 4. Okay? Why what? Uh, 21. Why minus 21 times 25 is what? 525. All right? Hope you understand that. Okay, so let us proceed. Since we have gotten our two factors, minus 21 and plus 25, that means we can now what factorize. I'm going to have 3x squared, then plus what now? 25x, okay? Minus 21x, then minus what? 175 is close to what? Zero. Okay, so it's as simple as A, B, C. So I'm going to have what, what to do, we simplify next. So the next thing we do is to simplify, okay? So put this in what, in brackets, all right? Then we'll put this word in also what, in what, in brackets, okay? So what is common between 3x squared and 25x? The only thing that's common here is what is x. S is common. S is common between 3x squared and 25. So you bring out x. You bring out s, I'm going to have what here? I'm going to have 3x because it's same thing as saying 3x squared over x, which is 3 times x times x over x. S to cancel s. What is left is what is 3x, okay? So what is common between 3x squared and 25s is what? Is x. Sorry, is what? Is x. And that will give us what? 3x. Then plus s, 25x divided by s is what? Is 25. So I'm going to have plus 25, all right? Then minus what now? What is common here? Okay, minus 7. Okay, minus 7 is common. Into brackets, I'm going to have what now? What I'm going to have here? 7 divided by 21x, that is 21x divided by 7. 7 year 1, 7 year 3, okay? So I'm going to have 3x. I'm going to have 3x, all right? Then plus 25 also, okay? Because 175 divided by 7 is what is 25. Look at this, 25 times 7. 7 times 5, uh, 35, rather than 5, carry 3. 7 times 2, 14. 14 plus 3, 175. Okay, so 7 can go. Minus 7 went in, I'm going to have 3s plus what? 25. Then everything is equal to what now? 0. And since what? Everything is equal to 0, it means, it therefore means, okay, that s minus 7, it means that either, either x minus 7 is equal to 0, or you can take 1 out of these two brackets, or 3x plus 25 is equal to 0. Okay, so this is what it means. And if x minus 7 is equal to 0, what does it mean? Minus 7 will cross to the other side. So from this first one, it means that what? That x is equal to what now? 7. Okay, because minus 7 will cross here and it will be what? To be 7. So I'm going to have the value to be what? 7. Now, if 3x plus 25 is equal to 0, it means that what now? I'm going to have what now? We can, we can take 25 to the other side. I'm going to have 3x it's equal to tw minus 25 because plus 25 is crossing the sign of equality. Now, divide here by 3, divide here by what? By 3. 3 will cancel 3. It means that what? That x is minus 25 over 3. Okay? So now you will ask yourself, have you ever seen where we talk about a negative base? Okay? We have never seen a negative base before. That means the only visible or viable answer to us is what is x is equal to what seven. This will be our correct answer. So the value of x here is what is seven. It's actually what base seven. Okay, it's actually three hundred and forty base seven. Okay, so that is that for that. So that equation cut it for us. Okay, that was the most strenuous part of what of the solution. Okay, but it's very very easy. You could also use the quadratic formula method from here. 
uh, from here, okay? You could use the quadratic formula method, all right? So you are going to complete it. I'm going to start it, and then you are going to complete it. I'm going to complete it. So I'm going to have minus b plus or minus square root of what? b square minus 4ac over 2a, okay? So, yeah, it means your a, bring out of your, your data. Your a here is what? Is the coefficient of x square, which is 3. Your b is what? Coefficient of x, which is 4. Your c is what? Your constant, minus 175. Okay? So that is that. Now, it's just for you to plug in these values into what this equation. That is all. So I'm going to have minus b. b is what? Rather, from here, b is 4. I'm going to have minus 4. Then, they say plus or minus. So you can start with the plus first. Plus square root of b squared minus 4 times. Okay, no. Now, let us plug our values. b squared is what? 4 square. Minus into bracket 4ac, 4 times what is your a? 3 times what is your c? Minus 175. Minus 175. Square root of then all over what? Over 2 times what is your a? Times 3, which is what? 6. Okay? So this will be what? Our, our first value, all right? So now, or this will be or minus 4. Instead of we have done plus, now we need to do what? Minus. This is plus. This is for plus, then this, this next one is what is for minus, the second value. I'm going to have what now? Square root of what? 4 square minus what? 4 times 3 times minus 175. Okay? Then all over what? 2 times 3. So you can do it. Do it. Any values you get, okay? One of the values will be what? Will be uh, positive. The other one also will be negative. Just as we got when we did factorization method. So any method is used is very, 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 very okay. Do it and complete it and see that you are correct. Please take note of what of the sign. Where you, miss, where you may miss it is from this sign. Once you multiply 4 times 3, 12, times this minus 175, okay? This minus will open the bracket. So here will be positive overall. Here will be positive overall. So it will be 4 squared plus Plus whatever you have in this what in this what in this uh, in this bracket. Okay, so please take note of what of the sign. So let me give you an assignment to what to go and try at home. Okay, try it, try it, try it to cement your understanding of uh, this example. Okay, of of a question like this. Okay, so we, the second assignment actually before that I gave you was one one zero one one base two then plus x base 7 is equals to 25 base 10, okay? You said what? Find, find x, okay? This was the question I gave to you before as assignment. Okay, so now you are going to do it. You see that the only issue here, okay, is to what? Is to convert. You see the same approach we did. You need to convert this to base 10 first. Then you convert also this one to what? To base 10 so that they are all in base 10 before you can proceed, all right? So now x base 7 is the challenge here. So don't put it to power zero. So I'm going to what x times seven raised to power what zero. Seven raised to power zero is what is one. So x times one, which is what x. Okay, so yeah, it's already in base 10 like this. Okay, this is now x base what base 10. Convert to base seven. Uh, sorry, convert from base seven to base 10. That becomes your base 10. Then this one convert is also to base 10. If it's in base 10, that means you can now subtract. Once this one is in base 10, you can subtract. Uh, you can now take this one to this side and subtract it from 25 to get your x. Very simple. Okay, that's the second assignment I gave you. What I have explained it, you should complete it. Now I'm going to give you the new assignment. The new assignment is this. Uh, what is the value of x if 122 base x is 62 base 8. Okay, so please go and attempt this one. All right, it's very also very easy. Okay, it's all the same approach you have been using. Convert all of them to base 10, and then you can find your x. This one should lead you also to a quadratic equation. That's why I'm, I'm giving it to you. All right, so thank you for joining in. I'll see you in the next one.